Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. We're back for another mail time, the first mail time after the trip. We've got, I think, some contest entries here. Ah. So we're running a contest. Running a contest for Post to Post artwork, or fan art, or whatever you want to call oh, it. Oh yeah, right. Um, so there's some entries in here. This is the final. So anything here is the final submissions for the contest. Then we'll pick a winner, and then the winner gets uh, a, a jersey, which will be announced very soon. That's why we're doing this one right now. But first, before we get into any of the letters, I spent four days with uh, T Park, aka Cordell, in Vegas, and he gave me this the first day. And I, we were going to open it somewhere cool, like in the desert or something like that. Uh, but we didn't get around to it, and then I carried it with me every single place I went on the trip, all over the place. I'm dying to open this. I've had this in my possession for the past month, or basically. So I'm going to open this now, if that's okay with you, before oh, yeah. we get into the letters. Certainly. Did he give you any hints as to what it was? Um, I think he said there's some clothing in here. It was honestly so long ago. Like three and a half weeks ago. Ooh, okay. Yeah. For off For stream. Off stream. Okay. So we'll keep that off stream. For off stream. For off stream. We'll keep that off stream. Mail time. Mail time. Okay. Howdy, Neil and Goat. <laughs> After countless TPB talks with Neil, TPB Trailer Park Boys. Oh, Trailer Park Boys. He, he watches the Trailer. Oh, yeah. oh really? <laughs> Uh, and after hearing you were also a fan, I knew this jersey would be a much-needed addition to the collection. It goes without saying, you two are the greatest, and it will be. E I will be elated to hear you read this on Mail Time, Brent. Much love from Houston. See you all soon, Cordell T. Park. Parker. Dang, a jersey? We love his hair trader park boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, my God. That is incredible. <laughs> And on the back, <laughs> Ricky 420. 420, we know what 420 means, don't we? So if you're not familiar with Trailer Park Boys, you younger viewers probably shouldn't go watch it. But uh, yeah, You might be a little early. Until you reach the age of about 40. <laughs> yeah, about 40. This yeah. is amazing. This is incredible. That's like, Where did you get this? Did you get it made? or? Yeah. Like That's, that's that, awesome. That is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. So the premise of the Trailer Park Boys is that they live in a trailer park called Sunnyvale, and they get up to no good, and they swear a lot, and yeah. They, they do a lot of bad things, but they're so simple that they really don't... It's a Canadian TV show. It's available on Netflix. If you'd like to go watch it, you can. It's actually... You think about long-running shows. Friends had, oh, wow. what, eight seasons or something like that? Lost had six. Seinfeld had Seinfeld nine or eleven. Had, or yeah, or whatever. Uh, Game of Thrones is up to what six now or something like that? Something like that. Trailer Park Boys, I think, are on ep uh, season thirteen or fourteen. They've been on TV for a long time. They have separate other uh, seasons. Franchises. They have like they, they went have to the movies states. They've done. They've they gone to the movies. states. They've gone to Europe. Their shows are what about a half hour each? Yeah. They're very simple. You're either going to find the show completely crazy and useless. Or you're going to fall in love with it exactly. and the characters in it. And I'm not sure if uh, Cordell knows this, but Julian's character, uh, he played, or he, uh, uh, Tremblay is his name, J.C. Tremblay, he had a pizza place here in Charlottetown. Yeah, like five minutes from here. Yeah, for many years. He, he you know, for several years, I guess I would say many mm. And uh, he was gone by the time we moved over here in 2007. He was doing his show in Halifax. But, yeah, there are some uh, interesting fan bases for the Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, definitely. There's a huge fan base in Australia, of all places. Oh, really? There was it for quite some time. I presume there still would be. Uh, the show is irreverent, <laughs> and it's hilarious. Yeah. This That's letter great. is from Owen. Owen. Oh, we have a local letter here. Yes. Interesting. Just across a couple of small rivers here, the mm. Hillsborough River and the North River, we get ourselves to Cornwall, Prince Edward Island. Could be some closure glue attached to... There we go. There we go. We, we freed it. Just want to make sure there's no other... You know. 
I don't remember if I specifically said thank you, T Park. I think I did, but if I didn't, thank you. I appreciate for the jersey. All right, what do we got here? It looks like artwork. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Okay, where's the zoom? Where's the zoom? Oh my! Uh... So, okay. You want to hold this up in front of your face? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Brent the mighty goat. So, as you can see, hopefully you can see, <laughs> it's a split personality kind of facing of the goat and an actual goat. Uh, well done. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> first, first entry of the day for oh, too far. Thanks, Owen. That's actually That's awesome. quite good. <laughs> and that does that like I, it, it it's a round faced balding guy, but I think it looks a little bit like me. Mm. Well done. <laughs> Actually, it looks a lot like. Me. Well done. That's really that's that's good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Another entry. I know which one I'll be voting for. There's some there's some good ones. Yeah. This is from Illinois. Illinois. I talked to several. Ham radio operators in Illinois just an hour or two ago. What do you call people from Illinois? Illinoisans? I think so. I never thought of it. I don't know. I don't know. Think about it. Yeah. Okay. Make sure that there's... All right, there you go. Okie dokie. Dear Post to Post. My name is Jose. I really like your videos. My favorite teams are the Chicago Blackhawks, San Jose Sharks, Dallas Stars. Vegas Golden Knights and Florida Panthers and Montreal Canadiens are tied for fifth. Neil, sorry, but I don't like the Colorado Avalanche secondary logo. That's okay. My, my sister likes the Pittsburgh Penguins, my mom likes the Blackhawks, and my dad likes the Anaheim Ducks. Must be a fun household at supper time on a Saturday night. Hmm. Neil, can you send me any Blackhawks, Sharks, Stars, Golden Knights, Panthers, or Canadians merchandise you could send my way? Also, if you have any hockey cards from my favorite teams, could you... Uh, you could send my way. I have some suggestions for the post-to-post -post and for more post-to-post. -post. For post-to-post, -post, the goal horns for the AHL, ECHL, QMJHL, WHL, and OHL. For more post-to-post, -post, uh, MASL and MASL2 logos, rankings. My return address is on the letter. Finally, keep up the good work, and I hope you guys have a nice day. P.S. My birthday is coming up. And May 26th. May 26th. Now, we're opening this in early June, June so what, we've missed that because when the letter arrived, Neil was mm. on the road. Sincerely, Jose. And the address is also down at the bottom here, cool. too. Well, Jose, I'll take a look for uh, any cards that I have. I don't think I have any merchandise to send your way, uh, unfortunately, but I definitely have some cards to send your way. And as far as the gold horns for these other leagues, we made that original gold horn video, honestly, as a joke. Um, I really have no interest in doing gold horns from any other league whatsoever and i know there's obviously people who want me to do it but i really just have no interest whatsoever in doing it'd be it. an awfully big challenge to even i just get a set of audio to even yeah i don't know i just yeah, uh as far tough. as the uh, the logo rankings for the other these other leagues for more post to post uh definitely consider it like any any logo ranking i really enjoy artwork and stuff so yeah i definitely consider that for more post to post thank cool. you for writing and i appreciate it very good jose I said Jose. I, pre I presume the J is silent, but if I have that wrong, I apologize. This one. Oh. Shoshone, Idaho. Nice. Thank you, Brian. That's a nice looking stamp on that. That is a nice looking stamp. Or is it a stamp? It's actually part of the envelope. You can buy postage paid envelopes. That's a uh, nice That's a nice, yeah. You can buy those up here in Canada Ooh. as well. Ooh. We have more. There seem to be two, two things here. I'm not sure which. All right. I'd say this is page two. That's page two? I think so, because it... All right, this is... Ah. Okay. Okay. Or maybe that's page three, then. This yeah. is definitely page one. Yeah, you can sort of... Through. Okay, this is from Brian in Shoshone, Idaho. Hey, Post to Post, greetings from Idaho, USA. My name is Brian, and I'm writing to you because I really like the show. Keeps me hockey happy, because hockey around here is not that popular can't even find a decent stick, let alone any jersey store. I'm a diehard Senators, Avalanche Capitals, and Golden Knights fan. Hoping the Golden Knights play the Capitals in the Stanley Cup Final. Your hope came true. Mm. Neil, your opinion on Colorado's third name jersey and logo is right. Hands down, best logo ever in sports. I've loved hockey since I, since I could pick up a stick and slap a puck. 
Hockey is the best sport because it's more intense than the NFL. I would like something from post to post. I don't care what. Just please send something. Uh, if not, it's cool because I get enough joy from all the hockey talk on post to post. Not much hockey merch here in Little Idaho. Best I could send in the return are some farm fresh potatoes. Well, the only place in North America that produces <coughs> more me. potatoes than Idaho is Prince Edward Island, where we live. Do we actually make more? No, the only place that makes. Sorry, I guess I worded that wrong. I don't. I don't know that we don't, but we're, yeah. we're second. Idaho makes the most. PI makes the second most. Cool. In all of North America. Well, there. But you didn't know that. I did not know that. Keep making videos. I'll watch every one of them. Take care, friends. Ovechkin will win his first Stanley Cup this year. I hope. Go Caps. Oh, May fifteenth, by the way, they sent this letter. Wow. Were the finals even determined as to who was going to no. be? No. No. May fourteenth. That was the day after I got to. Uh, round three just started the conference finals. Just started, man, so. Brian, um, you uh, you know your hockey. I think that's next. Okay, uh, here in Idaho, the only hockey we have is in Boise, which is two and a half hours from my hometown of Shoshone. Sorry, I keep writing, but I have so much to talk about with hockey. I hope you guys will befriend me because I love hockey. I just don't like the Penguins or Bruins. Every other team is okay, but my previous letter said I'm all for the Senators, Avalanche, Capitals, and Golden Knights. Honestly. Neil is now my hero. I admire your merch collection, <laughs> and all, all I have of anything NHL is a Senator's hat, Senator's jersey, and an avalanche hockey puck. Wish I lived in Canada so I could be around all the hockey people. Uh, thank you for taking your time for reading my letters, and again, sorry for writing so much. I'm just a huge fan of Post to Post, and will always be a few, huge fan. And uh, No sorry. problem. Right, and no. here we go again. I have more to say. Sorry, <laughs> Post to Post. You, you say sorry a lot, and that makes you an honorary yeah, Canadian. Yeah, almost Canadian there, yeah. <laughs> I just have you guys, I can't stop watching your show. I just love you guys. I just can't stop watching your show. I'm completely jealous of Neil's jersey collection. <laughs> I've seen mostly every show. I really enjoy the logo rankings. Here in Idaho, we have little interest in hockey. But my hockey heart makes up for it. My favorite player playing these days is Alex Ovechkin and Evgeny Malkin. Malkin. But my all-time favorite player is Pavel Datsuk and Peter Forsberg. When I was seven, I went to an avalanche game. Colorado played Edmonton, and Peter Forsberg had a breakaway but did not make the goal. Still, the Avs won 3-2. I'm just really wishing someone will reply back to me. I'm a post-to-post -post nerd, mm -hmm. and I can't go a day without thinking of meeting Neil. Neil, you're already my friend, and Brent, you crack me up. You're really funny. You're really funny. You guys bring me happiness with all the hockey talk. Thank you. I hope to get something from you guys. I'll cherish it forever. I'm the biggest post-to-post -post fan in Idaho. And he gives his full name and address at the bottom of that page. Thank you, Thank very you Brian. Much. I appreciate that. Lots of nice words in there. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. We'll definitely That's have something great. sent your way. It's nice to know you you make people happy. Oh yeah, I, really. Like it's okay. some people have YouTube because you know they have a channel. It's a bit of an ego trip, or it's for themselves. But really, it's nice to get this feedback and know that. I'm sure I make people unhappy too. Oh, I'm sure you make a lot of people In fact, unhappy. I know You've been I making make... me unhappy for 32 years. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Just kidding. This one is. It looks like from... artwork. Um, I don't know. I don't know where this is from. There's oh, no. Uh, nice. There's no. I think there is address. on the very back. Though. Oh, yeah. There's one there on the back. Oops, I cut it. Uh oh. <laughs> Hi, Neil. I just wanted to let you know the videos always make me smile. There we go. Oh, there we go. Ed. My favorite team is the San Jose Sharks. You got I, it okay? I can place it together. Yeah. Cool. It would be awesome if you could send me some cards, but you really don't have to. And he signs his name, Alex, and he gives his address. And this, that's interesting, Sweden. So is that from Sweden? This is from Sweden. Wow. Boom. So a nice goal. Thank you. Yeah. With a two in it, Neil and Brent. The two post to post. There you go. Dudes. Awesome. Another entry. Very good. That's cool. Make sure they stay together. Yes, I'm going to put that with the thing that I cut accidentally. Huh. All right. This is from... Zagreb. Holy smokes. Is that Russia? No. It's Croatia. Oh. That's close. Kind of. A little south. <laughs> a little west. Maybe a lot west. In a way, you you can be forgiven because Zagreb is in the former Yugoslavia, which was uh, behind the Iron Curtain in a way. Oh, there and, you go. Uh, so it was part of the Russian orbit. And that's allowed then. It was one of the few countries, though, where Russia didn't call all the shots. Yugoslavia would kind of march to its own drummer. Ah. Ooh. 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 
We have a very well packaged. Yes, indeed. Letter here. <clears throat> give you this. Excellent. Hello, dear Post to Post team. Greetings from Zagreb, Croatia. I've been watching your channel for over a year now, and I want to thank you for all the inspiration and entertainment that you provide. I really enjoy the talks, the thoughts, and the chemistry between you two. You do have that special something. One thing, though, Brent should be promoted to a co-host or some special status, after all, his impact and devotion to the channel. We've discussed in the past why that... Yeah, I don't know where I'm going to be living. I could be living in... Croatia in two months. I don't know. Uh, so uh, because of that, you may... I don't know who's going to be with yeah. me in videos. If it I was be... elevated to official status, it might only be for short term, and then you were into the contract and all that. And... Your agent would have to contact yeah, my agent. Yeah, it would just be a racket. If I got a full-time good-paying <clears throat> position here in Prince Edward Island and I knew I was going to stay, congratulations, you would become co-host. Wow. After your agent talked to my I'm agent. I'm honored. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> Hockey has helped me a lot, especially through the university, both the NHL and the local national hockey that I enjoyed watching. I consider myself a Flyers fan. In those not-so-recent days, Flyers had stars like LeClaire, Lindros, Recchi, and others. I find it very special to remember those times. I wanted to talk a bit about our National Hockey League in Croatia. Hockey in these parts is really not a famous sport, and we have a total of four teams in a league. Our best team, ooh, uh, Medvesak, Zagreb, I hope that's good enough, besides local guys in the National League, has a roster that competes for many years in the EBEL, which is made up mostly of Austrian teams. And also for four years, they were in the KHL. Cool. Really? I really enjoyed those days a few years ago, running from work to catch a live game versus great teams like Salavat Yulev Ufa and Jokerit Helsinki in our city of Zagreb. Initial hype got deflated rather quickly, and the hockey arena was rather empty, but some of us really enjoyed those times. I've even heard that there is a possibility that Medvedchuk will rejoin the KHL, who knows. For now, they are again in the EBEL, and there is neither much rivalry nor the greatest of skill in the league. Attached, I've sent you a few Panini football stickers, as we all know, do we? There is a World Cup in Russia in a month now, and football is truly sport number one in these parts. <laughs> uh, signed, Mario. Keep up the good work and stay well. Yeah, these people. are like FIFA World Cup Russia 2018. Oh, that's fantastic. fantastic. So I think I would like to keep one of these in the package. This one's very well preserved. Yeah. Because I've never had the opportunity or to buy anything like this over here. But I want to open this one if that's okay with you. And yeah, sure. That's okay with you. Try the scissors. Oh, okay, it'll tear that way. I like to, I'm a bit of a collector. And just the fact that that's still in its package it's in really good condition cool now i don't know any of these obviously any of these athletes oh, there's still one in here there we go you want to try and pronounce these names sure lay it on me we have khalid butaib and this is from is it Morocco? Uh, it's M-A-R. So, uh, yeah, maybe Morocco. Although... Wait, hold on, what's it say down there? Turkey. Turkey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's... Oh, okay, I see, I see. That one's... Brazil. Brazil? Wait. Tiago Silva. Oh, I see, he plays for... Yeah, yeah plays this guy for... plays for Turkey, mm. uh, or plays in Turkey. Uh, this guy plays in Paris, France, for the Paris Saint-Germain team. Thiago Silva of Brazil. Very cool. Is that... Getting the hang of it now. Luis Advincula. He plays for Mexico in Labos Biliap, and he's from Peru. Or was from Peru. This is it's got 2010 on it. So there might be some legacy players from the past. Mm. So these aren't necessarily yeah, these are people. Cool. These are stickers. Hard, obviously, this is hard for you guys to see. You guys yeah. can't see what we're talking about. But Andreas Cornelius, he plays in Atalanta, BC, in Italy, and he's from Denmark. And and this is uh, he must have been in the World Cup in 2012. I think this is how. Uh. There's years next to their names, so maybe these players are in, or perhaps aren't in the World Cup this year. I guess the teams haven't all been decided yet. Oh, yeah. I guess and here's one with the FIFA soccer ball on it. 
That's cool. Have to uh, do a little more studying as yeah, to what exactly what all they mean. Because you started to watch soccer. Like, I, I'm really the past um, couple years. Yep, and the World Cup will be something I find very interesting. Mm. This year, there's a little political toing and froing, and and Russia's been a, a bit of a concern. And some countries are maybe not going to go. Mm. England, for instance, uh, may not go. And England and not going to the World Cup is that's, that's a big pretty, deal. It's a pretty big statement yeah. to make. Back in the 80s, there were some boycotts of the Olympics that didn't go over too well, but some countries thought it was important to make a statement like that. Mm. So the World Cup may be tainted a little bit by some people not showing up, but still, the uh, the, the, the build-up uh, when the final game happens, whether it's, it's Holland the, or... It's the biggest sport in the world. As much as we love hockey, as much as, as big as football, NFL is, globally, soccer is the biggest sport in the world. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's played everywhere... And it's it's a very democratic sport. In hockey, here in Canada especially, because of all the safety regulations and the requirement to be on a you know a certain ice surface size and all that, you have to have money. You don't have to, but there's place there's ways that if you're not very well off, you can still have your child playing in hockey. Mm -hmm. There are charities that help children get rigged up for hockey, but there's literally hundreds of dollars of equipment involved. Yes, in just getting on the ice. And as you're a child growing up through your years, you're buying new stuff every couple of years because you're getting bigger. So it can be a very expensive thing to be in for parents who are just struggling to get by. Soccer, you have a field, you have a big ball, and away you, you go. buy some sneakers or some cleats or whatever you want to call them. And, and some pretty. places probably play in their bare feet and have a great time. Yeah, exactly. So it, it's a very democratic game in that everybody can participate in it. Hmm. Uh, that was our first letter, I believe, from Croatia. Croatia. I think so, so. Thank you very much for that. I really, really That's appreciate very nice that. to see we're reaching. Cool to see that we're sitting here in a small island in Canada, and someone from Croatia is sending us a letter. That's, yeah. I've cool. heard the uh, Hrvatski radio in Croatia. It comes in here in the wintertime. You can hear it almost every night. Hmm. Yeah. Can I read where this is from? This comes from Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> uh, you perk up a little bit for that. We love Wisconsin. Ooh, it looks like there's... Oh, snap. Is that what I think it is? Oh, uh -oh. snap. <laughs> I think... I'm not even going to look at this. It looks like... Uh, I think they're the Lake Erie Monsters now. Is that what they call? Oh, no. Wisconsin borders nice. Lake Michigan. It, That's a... Yeah, it, they have the same... Because the, the Monsters thing has like this thing coming out of the water. And the way I was looking at it, it looked like that. No, it's a... Heck Yeah. Hey boys, I write to you from Madison, Wisconsin. I'm a Blackhawks fan as I did my schooling in Chicago. I also learned about hockey, ice hockey, only after I came to the States. First of all, Post to Post is awesome. Keep up the good work. Secondly, I've included a couple of things from my travels to Arizona. Thirdly, if you swing by Wisconsin, dinner's on me and maybe a place to sleep. Well, that's great to know. Awesome. Because I'm in Wisconsin on an occasional basis. There you go. Know. Spend some time in... I've been out to uh, Stevens Point, uh, Wapaka, mostly in Oshkosh, Appleton, around there. Now you've but got a contact. Now I've got a contact. Madison's <laughs> not too, too far away, so, yeah. <laughs> Lastly, sorry about the handwritten letter and entertaining the masses. <laughs> uh, the letter's great, very yeah, well printed. It is. And it's from True. Now, I don't know where True came from before moving to the United States, but I'd be interested to know that story. Hmm. Thank you very much. So we've got a magnet here. Oh, nice. And a schedule. An Arizona Coyotes 17. Oh, oh, heck yeah. If you guys don't know, if you're new to Post to Post, mail time. We love no getting schedules. Schedules. Easy to get. Well, not easy for us to get. Easy yeah. for other people to get. Not expensive. Uh, so that's that's cool. We love getting That's getting great. These. Great piece. Uh, I think sticker. I love stickers too, especially of NHL teams. Great letter. Thank you very much. Thanks, Drew. Appreciate true. that. Lovely. I think we're down to our last actual and small envelope. This one's a little thick. This one's from South Carolina. From Piedmont, South Carolina. Nice. Piedmont used to be the name of a regional airline in the United States. Oh, we have some hockey cards. hockey cards. And a letter. Typed out. Dear Neil and Brent, the goat. Oh, it does say the goat. My name is Caleb, and I am 17 years old. I'm a huge fan of the channel, and I've been watching for a few months now. I live in a small town in upstate South Carolina called Piedmont. 
Piedmont is about 15 minutes outside of Greenville, so the Swamp Rabbits are my hometown team. Oh, ah, nice. Yeah. I've been to several of their games over the years and always had a great time. As far as the NHL goes, my favorite team is the Rangers. Some of my favorite NHL players are, you want to say that one? He's a Benajet. Nice. Patrick Lyonet, Brent Burns, Sebastian Ajo, and Austin Matthews. Even spelled Austin right. A lot of people spell Austin Matthews with, with an, an I. I. Mm. Yeah, very good. Well done. I can imagine that you're probably wondering how someone in South Carolina becomes a fan of the team from New York, or a team from New York. Well, my friend's stepdad is from New York. When the Rangers went to the cup final in 2014, my friend and I, excuse me, both became huge fans thanks to his stepdad, and we've loved them ever since. A few weeks ago, I got to see my first NHL game when the Rangers played at Carolina nice. on March 31st. My parents and I made the four-hour drive to Raleigh, and we all had a great time. I've sent you guys a few cards that I had laying around. I would love it if you could send me any Rangers or Hurricanes cards that you have. You got it. Done. I just want to tell you guys that you're doing an amazing job with the channel. I love coming home from school every day and watching your videos. Keep up the great work from Caleb. Sorry, Caleb, you have been coming home from school with no notifications the last three and a half weeks, but you're Caleb, back. I appreciate all the cards. There's an uh, Adrian Kempe UD Portrait rookie card here. Oh, nice. Which is pro. We've got some PG Oshi. Bunch of other cards. I see lots of cards in here that I actually don't have from uh, the most recent series. So uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Nice. I'll add these to my collection. And cards going back your way. And cards going, yeah, exactly. Cards going back your way. All right, this is from. Well, this there one you is go. coming to that. us from Wisconsin. There I can't go. quite. The, the postmark is stamped over top of the. I don't know if I can open this with the, the name. I just don't want to cut into it if there's... The last thing I'd want to do is cut someone's artwork. Oh yes, if it's an entry, right? Good point. Good point. So I just want to make sure... Alright. There we go. My name is Jack. I'm six years old, and I live in Wisconsin. My favorite NHL team is the San Jose Sharks because my favorite player is Joe Pavelski because he's from Plover, Wisconsin. My second favorite team is the that. Columbus... Hmm? I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. It is the Columbus Blue Jackets because they have a goalie, but I forgot how to spell his name. <laughs> uh, that would be Bob, right? Yeah. Uh, Bobrovsky, Sergei Bobrovsky. Uh, could you please send those hockey cards from the Blue Jackets and San Jose Sharks. Also, can you please make a video and talk about your favorite player? Thanks, Jack. I will be seven in one month. Maybe you already are by now, Jack. Mm. Happy birthday. We've got and some logos here. Beautiful logos of San Jose That's and Columbus. Cool. San Jose and Columbus. Nicely yeah, done, really Jack. Cool. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, make sure you keep the return address on that envelope. I yeah. don't think it was written inside. Yeah, no, I got it. And it's got a postmark stamped on it, so it might be hard to read. But There we go. Yeah. All right, I know that this is a contest entry. I know for a fact it is, because I recognize the name. If you ever been tagged on Instagram by a Derek about some NASCAR or some Boston. Oh, yes. This is from him. Okay. Yes, I've seen some... Some tagging tags, yeah, a lot from NASCAR. Well, that's Derek, and I believe he entered one of our previous art contests. Oh, nice! And he's a very good drawer. So I think there are some drawings in here. I want to make sure I got. I can get everything in one pull. It's coming from Pawtucket, Rhode Island. What's the population of Rhode Island? I'm putting you on the spot here. Wow. I would venture a guess that it's would be around a million at the most. What? But a million people in Rhode Island? I don't. You ask me, I'm telling I'm, you. I'm calling that as bogus. You're going to look it up on your well, phone I got from to. 2009? Now that you've asked, I thought a million was kind of low myself. Because New England is packed full oh, of people. Wow, there's some... This is very well done. Okay, wow, this is... All right, here we go. Fan art description. Fan art description. <clears throat> this is... Here we go. Okay. So, okay, this is... 
but the number one. Huh? Am I ready? I just want to make sure. Ooh. I'm not, but I'm not I'm sure which one is number one or number two. Okay, so this is number one. You this find number out? one here? Is your phone still loading? My phone is, I don't know what's going on here. I want to say someone to get this man a phone. Get me a phone, please. But they're so expensive that don't get him a phone. No. But that's a joke. It's a serious joke. Um, don't don't actually get him a phone, but you need a new phone. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, Google. Don't even start that. Okay, Google. <laughs> okay, Google. I'm done with you. We're we're breaking up. Here's here's the cycle that he goes through. He gets angry at the phone because it won't do something that he wants. He he throws it. He does whatever he wants with it. How that screen is not broken, I don't know. And he gets frustrated with it. He ignores it. And then every time I... Wow. Well done. 1.06 million. 60,000 off. Uh, Sorry about that. It's okay. Sorry about that. It's okay. Anyways, when I try and convince him to get a new phone, he's like, oh, no, I like my phone. It's, it's, it's all right. Anyway. Are you done? I'm done. Fan art description. The idea behind this drawing is a personalized post-to-post -post hockey rink that commemorates all things hockey and all teams. What a great idea. In the neutral zone, I included Neil's favorite NHL team and his top three favorite current NHL logos. Just outside the two blue lines on top in the bottom area, I included Neil's top four favorite former NHL team logos. This is a, a man who pays this, attention. This is a man who pays attention. I also included Neil's favorite team logos from a few other hockey organizations and placed them around the rink. Behind the two gold creases, I have drawn the numbers of both Neil's current favorite NHL player, Jake Allen, and Brent's favorite player of all time, Jean Beliveau. To the left of the center logo, I placed the year this channel released its first episode, and to the right of the center logo is Neil's original name, Snack Pack. <laughs> <laughs> No, I have yet to see this. You have yet to see it? All right, I see. Look. I guess I can see it on the on the camera. That is very well done, and Holy not just very well smokes. done as as intellectually and and concept wise, but the like. Look at that Colorado logo. That's yeah. perfect. The look at the post to post logo. That's the best drawn post to post logo I think I've seen. Yeah. Um, the Windsor Spitfires. Quebec Nordiques. Calgary Hitmen. Calgary slash Doketown Hitmen. Yeah. The Solar Bears, Manitoba Moose, is that what that yeah. is? Yeah, well done, well done. That's only, that's only the first entry. He's got another Fan art one. number two, description. The goalie net and crossed hockey stick drawing is my attempt at redesigning the post-to-post -post logo. I tried to blend the current logo with a new design that relates to everything hockey. Please see the other paper I have included in this package for my contact information. Keep up the great work with the channel as a fairly new fan of the game, you have helped me fuel, help fuel my love for hockey and made me appreciate the game even more than I could have imagined. Well done. A round of applause for this gentleman, please. Because that, that is well done. Derek Berg... Oh, man. Post, post, 16... I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but... I do, but... Uh, keep it on the down low? I'll probably keep it on the down low. Okay. That is so well done. It is very well done. That's I love that. Very, very well done. Well done, Derek. Derek, you are you have, an artiste. You have moved up the scale considerably. And I do, I don't always react, but I do, whenever I get the uh, the tags on Instagram uh, from some local racing or, or NASCAR, uh, mm. I always have a look. It's, it's interesting to have Definitely. people that share multiple interests. This is the last item we have to open. The last this... item that's not a box. <laughs> right. We'll boxes do, are coming. We'll do the boxes in a different yeah. video. This is from... Minnesota. Minnesota. Albert Lee, Minnesota. Guess what I... Guess... Guess... Guess. guess. You were just in Albert Lee, Minnesota. Well, not just, no. I was there in 1984. Oh, yeah, 1984. But, not bad. Not bad. All right. Here we go. I wasn't there very long. We just drove through as we crossed the up from Iowa to the south and on our way up to Minneapolis, St. Paul. So I wasn't there long, but uh, I don't remember anything bad about Albert Lee, so I'm presuming it was a, a nice place. Hey, Neil and Brent. My name is Rachel. I'm a goalie for the Albert Lee Tigers. I'm 12 years old, and I love watching your videos. As you probably guessed, I'm a Minnesota Wild fan. 
I also like the New York Rangers, Detroit Red Wings, Montreal Canadiens, and Edmonton Oilers. My favorite players are Henrik Lundqvist, Marc-Andre Fleury, and Mikhail, Michael Granlund. Uh, what do you think went wrong with the Wild this year, and do you think getting rid of their GM will help? Mm, he made some questionable moves. Like, he brought in... I think he brought in Hansel the previous trade deadline, not the one that just passed, but the previous one. He gave up a first-round pick, if my memory serves me correct. And a lot of people were like, ooh, Martin Hansel, first-round pick, just to get rid of him. Then he went to Dallas. Uh, people were very unhappy about that. Uh, goaltending was an issue in parts of the playoffs, um, but then again, Dubnik played it amazing as well. So I don't, there's... There are definitely some changes that need to happen in Minnesota. But Vanek didn't hang around after all the fuss to get him there. and Yeah, Vanek just didn't work out. He went to Vancouver, yeah. and now he's in Florida, I think, and he's all over the place. So, yeah, it's yeah. there's definitely some, there's lots of some bright there players is. In, in, in Minnesota. They've just got take coils them. there, right? Coil, yeah. Yeah. He originally was a trade through, um, for Burns. Coil, coil and Burns were in the same trade. Oh, wow. Uh. Yeah. Brent Burns. Yeah. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the question. And do you think... Uh, oh, no, sorry, I got that. Neil, if you could switch your bracket from Anaheim winning to another team, which team would you pick, mm, oh, wise one? Probably Washington. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, yeah. I predicted that Washington would make it to the... When we did our playoff bracket, I pred- predicted that Washington would make it to the finals. But before the season started... Before the first game of the season started, I predicted that Washington would win the Stanley Cup. Do Did you, you? Do you remember that? Do you remember what you said to me in the video when I predicted that? I don't. You said that I was out to lunch. You said that I was crazy. Oh, let's find that video. Oh, I've already watched it like three times since I won the Cup. But let's let the fans watch it again. <laughs> I'm sure I've said I'll play the clip time. right now. The winner of the Stanley Cup next year is Washington. I'm picking I think w- you're totally out to lunch. That's 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 fine. I'm picking Washington for. Uh, I, th- I picked Washington last year. <laughs> and I, I didn't get it done. I was so angry after the playoffs. I said, "I'm never picking Washington again." But I just, I just need to win. They just have to. How can they not win? How can Ovechkin not get a Stanley Cup? He has to get it. I think this is the year. I hope this is the year. Uh, and it wouldn't be the worst thing that happened. I, I just they had they had so much pressure on them. The, the past couple of years because of their seasonal success and they, they're they lesser of a team this year. They don't have as much pressure. I think they're just going to get it done. I think Holby's going to be totally lights out. I think it's going to happen. So uh, Ovechkin trumps McDavid. That's my prediction. And it's going to be uh, game seven. Like it's going to be a long series, game seven series. Mm-hmm. So I said it. Yeah, you said it. I said it. Yeah. You said it. Oh. Um, All right. Uh, I took a shot at the drawing contest. I hope you like it. Keep up the great work. Sincerely, Rachel. Holy uh, smokes. This is very impressive. The detail and oh my goodness. some of this. Like, this uh, want me to hold it while you do the yeah, zoom? Yeah, you zoom? could hold that. There's it. Sure. That is very impressive. The detail on the jerseys and obviously our faces and stuff. That is very impressive. Uh, we've got some very talented entries here. This is the final entry. I've, actually, it might not be. There might be some entries in the box. In the box, there's, there's, there's a well. chance, yeah. But like, oh, so many of these entries are so well done. It's actually going to be very hard to pick a winner. I thought there might be like you know one or two that stand out, but there's uh-huh. man, there's a lot that are so good. That, that is fantastic. Yeah, that's really really well done. Rachel, Rachel, you got some talent. Another artiste. Wow. And Rachel's address is on the uh, on the yeah. top of the letter, so that's, that's good. That's very, very impressive. That's awesome. That, that, that I man, I like. We're gonna have to frame some of these and put them totally. Put them up, definitely. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. That that is lovely. Just lovely. Great, There's great been entry. some really fine contributions just today, but all, all, already all along. In case you need any flyers, she sent them in to protect the artwork. Johnsonville Flame Grilled Sausage. In case you need any, here you Bush's go. Bush's beans. Look at all the beans. Beans, beans are good for your heart. The more you and eat. Doot, doot. Mountain Dew ice. We don't have that here. We don't. That's something I noticed when I went to... I was just in America. You guys have so many things that we don't have. Yeah. Um, like Haribo peppermints. 
Yeah. I loaded up again, you know. Did you really? I got eight bags. Okay, no one sent him any more Rufal Peppermints. He's good. So I got two bags in the mail. Thank you very much. Uh, and then I bought eight more. So now I'm good for a while. I think good I can last while. through the summer. I'm going to have the freshest <laughs> breath in town. All right. Uh, thank you so much for everyone who sent something in for the sp specific mail time. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I had a ton of fun opening them, a ton of fun reading your letters and, and all that good stuff. So thank you so much. I it's really to, appreciate it's it. It's good to be back. It's very good to be back. It's good to good be back. back in the groove. Uh, yes, thanks. I hope everyone's having a good good day and uh, recovering from the l very long and enjoyable Stanley Cup playoffs. And uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone writing in. And uh, we'll see you next time. Adios.